tough 3-2 loss in overtime a couple of nights ago, a game that we called between Florida and San Jose. They've got the puck in the offensive zone here as Jersey brings it straight away. Straddles the line and a right pad save on the wrister by Reimer. It floats back out to the neutral zone and Jersey will backpedal for most of the year, not just recently. As Kopitar brings it deep, Kopitar gets to the blue paint and his backhander just misses the far post. Adrian Kempe cycles one down low, pitches it all the way down to Burke across the line. His own pass deflects right back to him. Thrown towards the net, putting it out in front was Grundstrom. Todd and Rowan put together for the simple fact that they don't have to defer to anybody. Three young guys, the opportunity to either play great together or make mistakes together. And I think it's a, a good situation to be in considering the struggles of the top line for L.A. Thrown towards the net and looking for the loose puck, unable to find it. Avoided the stick of Reimer. A loose puck along the half wall is handled by Moore. Moore down low. That's tipped on net. And a nice save made by Reimer as Deneau had an opportunity. And by Apollo and Kopitar free the puck up. Kempe with a wrister. Saved by Reimer. Did not control the rebound. More notably for the Kopitar line. Only one shot on goal for the Kings, uh, for the Kings top line, but you can see the work they're putting in. They're staying above pucks, they're forward checking, creating turnovers, winning pucks, and spending significant time in the San Jose zone. Players to their frustration. That's why he's keeping them together, wants them to figure it out, and so far they've had a couple of good shifts. Well, Gregor with speed, puts a shot in on Peterson, not only stopped the first. Alash hands one off to Gregor. Gregor, wrist shot, save me! By uh, Peterson, kicked it out. And maybe a transition opportunity the other way for the Kings, but Dersey slows up. Dersey comes back the other way. The 28th ranked power play in the NHL this season against the number two penalty kill. And there's a wrister by Deneau, stopped by Reimer. Nice little toe drag by Hurdle. A pass to Nieto, and he'll skate at the length of the ice. Nieto shorthanded, one hands one in. A stop by Peterson, and he crashes into the net. And you have an opportunity to go. I mean, you either create a scoring chance or you're hoping to drop against teams that may not find themselves in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, as of right now, with 20 games remaining, eight are against playoff teams as of today, 12 non-playoff teams. There's a loose puck. Reimer makes the save as Kopitar. In this hockey game, a long dumping that Reimer has trouble with. Not able to get his stick on it because he wasn't able to get a stick on that puck. Watch where the rebound goes. Right out in front. And Kopitar is first on the scene, and as a defender... Moves right back to the half wall, and Noah Gregor gets it out to neutralize. And follows up. Gregor had his pocket picked by Byfield. Went in Byfield, lost it. Nice sweep by Gregor. Right back the other way. Moved out, though, by the Sharks. Off the stick of Couture. Turn back. A transition chance for Andre to Kopitar. Hands one off. There's a shot. That goes off the post. As Kempe had a chance off the feed from Kopitar. Told the story, the, the shot attempts tell a story. Now let's see if they can finally find a way to break through and kind of get out of this dry spell. Side of the net, the tour tried to stuff one, comes back up top to Burns. Meyer snaps a pass, there's a shot by Carlson. That whistles high and wide. Right to Timo Meyer, back to Carlson, shoots again, save made. The rebound loose, Couture off to Meyer, his shot blocked in front, sliding right was Peterson. I'm not sure if he got a piece or if it may have been Dursey that blocked it. But on the power play for the Sharks, Meyer with the best opportunity. He gets success on the penalty kill, so good job by Cogliano of intercepting that cross scene play there by Kopitar. Good job by Dursey to keep it onside. Kopitar shoots, SCORE! The Kings have the lead. Well, for the Kings, if that's going to be what's given to you, then take it. And Kopitar does a good job of getting this puck to the net, using Jacob Middleton as a screen. The cross team play didn't work early on, so simplify, get it to the net. And this is a perfectly placed shot over the blocker side of Reimer. Reimer not able to find this puck because his defender is trying to get the shooting lane, and that provided a screen. and. As Kirk sent one sailing through the crease, Noah Gregor pinches it, 
Balchers overskated and Perk lost it. A take back. Reedy sets up Gregor. That wrist shot off the post. The redirect off the post. The light went on behind the net, saying it was in. Another save by Cal Peterson. Yeah, close call here for the San Jose Sharks trying to even things up, trying to feast off a turnover. The goal light went on, but it clearly did not go in off the beautiful feed by Gregor, and the score remains 1-0 LA. By James Reimer, allowing only the screen wrist shot of Andre Kopitar on the power play. Off the draw, Dursey sails one in. Reimer makes the save. The rebound is with their top players is able to win this face off and a terrific job by Jersey to get this puck to the net and he looked good tonight Jersey has gets it to the net juicy rebound and I like how to know it's tough to replace players that can do what Dowdy does but Jersey can be a poor man through Dowdy he had a couple of shaken and bakes and obviously has the assist as well hurdle moves in shorthanded to the forehand save made by Peterson Somehow he reached back and kept it out of the net as that fluttering puck so close to ending up behind him. Boy, what a pass from Eric Carlson. Well, this is a thing of beauty. And we saw this several years ago by Carlson in the playoffs when he's playing for Ottawa. Terrific sauce pass, but an even better save by Cal Peterson. Hurdle coming off that new... He signed extension, not able to get that one above the glove and pad of Peter. A look at the numbers from our SAP Coaching Insights app. The last time these two teams met, it was Cal Peterson giving up five. It's tough to get going offensively, and they better come up with one here. A steal. Hurdle moves in shorthanded. The backhand stopped by Peterson. And it's up and out of play. L.A., minor penalty, 24, slash. Right there, I mean, Jersey, who's had a strong game, Los Angeles penalty makes it's a poor decision as he tried to backhand that puck, and then there's a slash on on Hurdle. Clear enough path there, and you're just making sure they defend their half of the ice with the two goal lead. Oh, that's it. Make sure you don't give up any rush chance. A loss right out in front. Tip and Jersey was able to bat one out of midair behind. Here in the last couple of minutes, first. It's Sean Jersey preserving the shutout. And it's Austin Strand that controls for LA. Strand to Kopitar. To Ayafalo. Finds the backdoor cover and a save made by Reimer on Austin Strand. James Reimer finds a way to come up with this terrific pad save to keep the deficit at two. They, they score at about a four and a half goal a game clip. That could be fun. The net empty. The extra attacker on, down two for San Jose. Trying to pop one past Cal Peterson. And it's a turnover. Shooting for the empty net. Left in the ice. Adrian Kempe. And he scores. It is now 3-0 LA. And it's hit a dry spot in the season. Comes it back in deep past Reedy. Kopitar pins it to the wall. Down to the last five seconds. The official allowing the clock to wind down. It goes to zero. And the shutout is complete for Cal Peterson.